Hello fellow murderers. Today is Monday, March 11th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have three 4x4 grids, and we do have a murder clue today. Monday puzzles are typically a bit easier, a good way to ease into the week, so if you're just getting started with Myrtle, this will be a great easy introduction to the game and how to play. I'll give a little bit more information with this just so you can follow along and hopefully solve along with me. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our suspects today. We have Father Mango, Senor Emerald, Secretary Saladon, and Bishop Azure. The possible murder weapons today are leather luggage, an imported Italian knife, a human skull, and a brick of coal. And finally, our locations are the roof, the locomotive, the caboose, and the dining car. Now, we're already starting out with a murder clue here that the body was found in the locomotive. This tells us our murder location. Each of these is unique, so there can only be one person in each place. Each person is only with one weapon in that place. So once we know the where, and that in this case is the locomotive, we need to figure out the who and the how, so the person and the weapon that is associated with that location. So that's going to be our task today. To do that, we have our clues and evidence, and let's go ahead and dive right in. A black smudge was found outdoors. So we are going to look at our weapons. Typically when we're seeing something like this, it's a remnant clue. So it's something that was left behind by the item. And that is typically um, noted in the body text here. So these are kind of like the classifiers here for the, uh, for the weapon. So heavyweight made of metal and leather. And then the body text here gives us information about things that may be left behind um, or other characteristics of the clue. So that's an important place to check if you don't see it here. In this case, nothing here that's going to help us with the black smudge. Nothing here. Nothing here. Aha, here we go. It leaves black smudges behind. So now we know that we're looking at a brick of coal as the weapon, and it was found outdoors. That's the second part of the clue that we have to solve here. So let's go for locations, and let's find our outdoor location or locations. The roof is outdoors, so that could be a good place to put the coal, but we do need to make sure that other locations are not also outdoors. And it looks like they are not. So that means that the black smudge is made from coal. It was found outdoors, which means it was on the roof. Let's go ahead and cross this off. And to note this in our grid, we're going to find the intersection between the locomotive, oh, sorry, not the locomotive, that's the murder location, the roof and the black coal or brick of coal. And we just say, yes, it was there. We know that it was there, which means we also know that the skull, the knife, and the luggage were not on the roof. And similarly, we know that the coal was not in the locomotive, the caboose, or the dining hall. And this is, again, because each of these is a unique combination. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next clue. Senor Emerald had not been in the dining car. So this one's nice and easy, nothing for us to go figure out. It's just very straightforward. It doesn't give us as much information as this one, but it will still potentially help us solve our mystery. Father Mango was seen beside a smokestack. So this is half of a clue, essentially. We have one, Father Mango, that's determined for us. We need to figure out the smokestack piece. Looking at our locations, we know it's not, well, it could be the roof. Okay. Um, in fact, it looks like it is. So in reviewing that, we saw that the roof is the only card that mentions the smokestack, and we see that Father Mango was seen beside a smokestack. So once again, we find web, uh, the suspects and locations. Father Mango is on the roof. Now because we know Father Mango is on the roof, we now also know the weapon that Father Mango had, and in this case it's a brick of coal. So you mark that in as well. And just as we did before, we fill out the other lines that uh, uh, are part of this intersection, right? So. Father Mango did not have any other weapon, and that weapon was not assigned to any other suspect. Father Mango was not in any other place, nor were any other suspects in this place. The anagram here is Bishop Azure was seen with a human skull. This one's an easier one for me. I was really struggling with yesterday's. It was pretty hard. Velvet Cushion really got me. Um, but from this, I'll uncheck it for a second. You see some really distinctive characters here with the B, P, O H S. That makes it very clear that we're probably dealing with Bishop and then Azure also is very distinctive. So that gives us the who right away. 
Um, as you do more of these, you'll get really good at some of the words like this, like was seen with or was found with or was discovered. Um, and that's really going to become second nature to you. You'll be able to see those right away. And then finally, a human skull. Um, this is the, it, this one just kind of jumps out to me, especially with the double letter here, less common. Um, and I will say when I first started doing these, anagrams were not my strong suit. I was doing a lot of Googling um, to be like, what does this anagram mean or decoding? I have a few options like that. Um, and you see this decode option here. This is not going to be useful for an anagram puzzle. There are other types of uh, scramble puzzles that do require the decoder ring. Um, and, and when that is the case, it will show up for you. But when it's just a, an anagram, you're on your own. So keep practicing and these will start to be second nature for you. So coming back to the clue, Bishop Azure, human skull. So we know that that is the weapon for Bishop Azure. We'll mark that in there. Okay, and finally we have, oh, not finally, we have two more, great. The suspect with the imported Italian knife also had brown hair. Okay, so we're only down to two suspects for whom we do not have a weapon. So it's going to be between Senor Emerald and Secretary Celadon. So let's start with Senor Emerald. And this is one of the attributes clues. So black hair, so it's not Senior Emerald, so it must be Secretary Celadon. Sure enough, brown hair. And they have the imported Italian knife. And this also then tells us the, uh, the weapon associated with Senior Emerald, the leather luggage, because it's the, only, uh, it's the only combination of suspect and weapon that we haven't solved yet. And so it's the only one remaining, it must be true. All right, so we have that first grid filled out. And we have one last clue here. Whoever was in the caboose was right-handed. So we already know the location for Father Mango, so we can rule them out. Let's go through our remaining suspects. So Senor Emerald is left-handed. Secret Secretary Celadon is left-handed. Bishop Azure is right-handed. Okay, so that means that Bishop Azure is the only right-handed suspect and must be in the caboose. And this will actually give us our solve. Because we know that uh, Bishop Azure was in the caboose, it leaves only one possible location for Secretary Celadon, and that is the dining hall. And because of that, that leaves only one suspect again, just as we did with the luggage for Senior Emerald is the only one without an assigned location, which means they must have been at the locomotive, which is of course our murder location. So we can go ahead and answer this now. We know it was Senior Emerald with a with a set of leather luggage at the locomotive. We'll go ahead and make our accusation, but before we confirm it, I'm just gonna quickly fill out the rest of my grid so that we can double check that everything's correct. Okay, we've got the grid all filled out. Let's go ahead and make our accusation and see if we were right. All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.